To provide your team and clients easy access to files, every project you create in Motion.io has a dedicated file management area associated with that project. In this video, I'll cover everything you need to know about how file management works in Motion.io. In addition to explaining how Motion.io automatically helps you keep files accessible and organized, I'll show you how to create custom folders that your clients can access directly within their client portals. Let's go ahead and get started. To access the file management area, select a project from your dashboard and click files at the top of your screen. When you first create projects and before you, a team member or a client uploads files as part of a project, you will see three primary default folders without any subfolders or files inside of them. I'll be walking through each of the folders that you see here and uploading files as I go to show you how motion.io's file management works. Before diving in, it's important to note that except for the deleted folder, which I'll cover at the end of this video, all of the files and folders that your team can access from the file management area of a project are going to be accessible to any clients you have invited to that project through their client portal. The topmost folder that you'll see, all files, is going to contain every single file that is shared, uploaded, or attached by either you, a team member, or your client. Those files will be added to specific subfolders under all files that are automatically created, named, and organized. To show you how this works, I'm gonna to navigate to the tasks page of this project where I'll send some tasks to my client to have them complete off camera. Skipping ahead, you can see my client has now completed all of the tasks I assigned, and I'm gonna to return to the files area of this project to show you how the folders were created under all files. The subfolders that you see here approvals, client uploads, direct uploads, form uploads, signatures, and task attachments represent the different ways that files can be added. In your projects, you might not have all of these six folders because they're only created once files are added to the project in one of those ways. So for example, if you never had any files that were attached to a task, you wouldn't see this folder. For some additional context of how these folders work, I'm gonna first click into the approvals folder. There is some ad creative here. I attach to a task asking my client to review and approve. And when I click on the link, I can actually pull up that task where that file was first attached. For another example, if I open the client uploads folder, there are two folders here, logo and brand guides. And the two file collections that I specified when creating this task automatically created different folders for each category of file I was asking for. This automatic organization of files in your Motion.io projects is a really, really powerful feature because it helps ensure that everyone involved in a project knows why files were uploaded and what they should be used for. A final thing to point out about the all files folder is that because the subfolders within it are created automatically by Motion.io, you're not able to edit or rename any of those subfolders. The next folder we'll talk about, however, the custom folder, which you can see here, gives your team complete control to edit, rename, or modify the folder names and files inside them, however you would like. Because the all files folder will automatically include every single file that is shared or uploaded throughout a project, I typically recommend using the custom folder and the files inside of it to give clients easy access to the most important files that are shared throughout a project. A great example of something you might use the custom folder for is sharing deliverables with clients. To do that, I'll click the three dots that appear beside the default name. I'll then select rename from the drop down and enter my new name for this folder. With my folder renamed, I'm also going to create two subfolders within it that will help my clients easily differentiate between the final versions of Ad Creative that they've approved and earlier versions that we've since made changes to. Opening that same drop down next to my top level client deliverables folder, I'll click new folder and enter a name. I'm going to title this first folder final versions. For the next folder, I'll repeat this exact same process, but this time I will name the folder previous versions. To add files to the custom folder or any of the subfolders you create inside of it, you have to add files to them manually in order to give clients access. To do this, I'll head back up to my all files folder 
and click the checkbox next to the ad creative that my client has already signed off on. Then in the actions dropdown, I'll click copy to and select my new final versions folder as the one I want to add this ad creative file to. Now that I've covered the two default primary folders you'll be using most frequently in motion.io, I do just want to talk briefly about the deleted folder. In your motion.io projects and portals, files can only be deleted by team members. And when files are deleted, they will automatically be added to the corresponding deleted folder within that project. As I mentioned earlier, unlike the subfolders and files inside of both all files and any custom folders you create, the deleted folder is only accessible to team members. If you do delete a file that a client then later wants access to, making it accessible to their portal again is as simple as selecting it and clicking restore from the actions dropdown. So that does it for how file management works in motion.io. Hopefully this video gave you everything you need to know about how motion.io's file management system works so you can start using it in your projects and portals. That said, if you need help, our team is here to help. Send us an email at hello at motion.io or start a support chat by clicking the blue need help widget that appears in the bottom right hand corner of your account settings page. Until next time, everybody, take care.